Teenage pregnancy is a major issue of concern in Uganda, and about 300,000 girls of school-going age are affected annually. Dr. Margaret Mongerera, the outgoing president of the World Medical Association, gives her insight into the problem. In all the countries, south of sub-Saharan countries, we still have the highest teenage pregnancy rate. It's gone down a bit, but we still have it. You know, we are still in the 28, 29 percent of our young, of, of girls in this country are pregnant, have been pregnant at least once by the time they're 18 years of age. Dr. Mongerera says whereas sex education has been taught in Ugandan schools for long, a different and more effective way should be applied. Um, if you compare, you know, if you look at countries where the age of consent is 16 or below, you'll find that um, the young people there have information. And uh, you'll find that the laws are stronger uh, and they are enforced. Let's give more information. Give information to young people um, how they can protect themselves. It is here that the issue of whether the sexual offences law, among other legislations, are effective. An amendment is being fronted. Dr. Mongarera says the amendment states that the law should only target adults who engage in intercourse with children. If you find a 16 and an 18 year old having sex, they should just be counseled about the dangers of sex. Because the trauma, the psychological trauma is not as bad as if you find an 18 or a 14 year old or a 12 year old uh, having sex with a 50 year old. There definitely there is some sort of control, some sort of power issue going on, some sort of exploitation. Child rights advocates say that the amended law calls for counseling as opposed to jail for children who engage in sexual activity. No, we're talking about skills that they need to be able to make the right decisions, uh, you know, to be assertive, to be able to cope with peer pressure. Those sort of skills, you need to do a bit more work. You need to change the whole educational system, the way we teach our young people, whether they're in universities, whether they're in colleges, whether they're, they're in primary schools, whether they're in kindergartens. According to the 2011 Demographic Health Survey, the number of mothers who die while giving birth is also relatively high, at 438 per 100,000 live births in the country. At least 40% of the cases are for teenage mothers. Early pregnancy has both physical and psychological effects on the victims. These include harassment, personality disorder, discrimination and sometimes expulsion from their homes. Not only are these effects on, the, on, on, the, on the, that young mother, the teenage mother, but these effects are also, will, be passed on, will also pass on the child. Why? Because the young mother now is not able to look after this uh, child. And many times, because of the rejection, they don't have support to look after this child. On this, Dr. Mungarera is calling for investments in education, health and other social sectors. You have young people who, have, uh, who are not employed, who are not kept busy. You have young people who are living in, in very congested areas. Uh, the housing becomes a problem. You have uh, less attention because people have many children. They can't attend to them. They're running around trying to make ends meet. You have more poverty. So the more population, the more defilement, the more children, the more poverty. Dr. Mongarera is a consultant psychiatrist at Molago Hospital and also does social work and rotary activities. She was the first African woman to be elected the president of the World Medical Association. When we came out, a hundred of us, um, about, you know, about 60 people left uh, the country. Um, I did not leave Uganda, I stayed behind and I've been here and uh, all along and uh, I think I've made my contribution. It has been a very rewarding um, life for me. Uh, I have enjoyed it. I have served the most vulnerable people. As the world marks the 25th anniversary of the ratification of the Convention on the Rights of the Child, it is such individuals that UNICEF, Uganda Child Rights NGO Network and NTV are profiling for their exemplary service to the protection of children and their rights. Moses Akena, NTV.